Hello and welcome to another video of the Zone 2 series. In this video, I'm going to summarize some of the most recent updates that we had on our platform. The first one being that we introduced a um, search term dashboard screen um, that you can find going on your left menu, search terms. Whenever you click it, you will be sent to this page where we collect all your search term report uh, in one place. So rather than having to go like before you have to you had to uh, campaign an ad group and check each single campaign each single ad group a search term report which is good uh, but also here we give you a chance to see all your search customer search terms in only one screen and allow you to filter and sort them um, as you wish uh, as you can see you can they are divided by campaigns so which campaign they belong to which ad group they belong and which keyword uh, which seed keyword generated them. If you see targeting auto, it means that this is an auto campaign. So this is as far as um, our uh, first update. The second update is, uh, uh, you might have noticed that we introduced um, the Threshold Builder. The Threshold Builder can be reached uh, by a link in the menu over here, or right now, every, uh, let me go to, a, let's go here, let's go to a campaign page. If you pop up the rule editing uh, screen, you will always see the threshold builder here. So click into this one, it will send you to the threshold builder page. Um, so it's handy. So if you, most of you probably already have it, but if you don't and you just land on the dashboard and on the platform, you, you will um, easily get it. The next update is we introduced a relevancy box. Uh, let's wait for the tooltip. So relevancy box, this is the number of sales in the past 60 days that are required to determine if a customer search term is relevant to the product. A value of zero will delay, disable the keyword miner. So this box is very, very important. Um, we had some time ago a discussion on Facebook and how to decide the relevancy of a customer search terms for a product and, and the best way to uh, understand for a machine how relevant is a customer's return for a product is how many sales it generated in a period of time. So we decided to go for the last 60 days. So we're going to look at all the previous 60 days and we're going to ask you how many sales you need in order for the product or for the, the customer's terms to be deemed as relevant and to be mined by keyword miner. Uh, most users will use two. As a default, we put two on all the accounts and all the campaigns. Um, I would say that probably at phrase match, so whenever you're phrase matching um, a keyword, most probably you, you might be able to put a relevancy trigger of one, so that we could mine keywords more often. At auto campaign level, you might want to keep it two or even three. Uh, at broad level, most likely even one and as well as at exact level, most likely you want to keep one. So uh, as I said before, by default, right now we pushed at, at two, uh, two sales to all the accounts, uh, to all the campaigns. Uh, my opinion is that um, you can keep two everywhere, uh, but you, wanna, you might wanna put um, one in all your exact campaign and possibly also one in all your phrase campaign in order to grow uh, your core keywords organically much quicker. Uh, but the bottom line, now you have the, the choices on the user hand, so you can choose how often you want to trigger keyword miner and how often and how soon you want to mine new customer search terms. So again, a relevancy trigger here. Uh, the next one is the auto rule. So we added a new automation, which we called Automate. This is a new automation we added some time ago. Automate basically will adjust your bid on the fly based on your auto uh, ACOS performances. So if you're bidding $1 and your ACOS is well below your threshold, we will rise your bid, assuming that uh, more bid will generate more impression, more traffic, and will move your ACOS, your auto campaign ACOS more toward your target. If we overspend, so if your ACOS goes up, 
we will not drive a bit now. So automate like everything works several times a day to adjust your beats on the fly, the auto campaign beats up and down in order for you to reach your echoes a goal. Um, in order to uh, properly set automate, what you have to do, we need two statics. So uh, two thresholds. So for each auto campaign, let's pick with some, for example, that has been unset. Okay, auto campaign. So the only thing we need is for you to tell us what echoes uh, you want to keep the auto campaign at, as well as you need to tell us max bid. Okay, you need to tell us maximum bid in order to understand how uh, what's the maximum bid we should apply to that auto campaign. Okay, let's say two dollar. So right now uh, we'll be sitting on this auto campaign. My target ACOS is 25% and my maximum bid is two. So our software will work within this threshold. So we'll keep rising or dropping the bid in order to maintain your ACOS around the 25% mark. And we will never bid more uh, than two dollar. And I'm gonna save a rule. And let's will save. Now this auto campaign bidding is automated and we will run and start running straight away. Um, and uh, yes, uh, and then additionally, uh, going back to a previous field, so when we also introduce max bid, like as you notice, max bid will be used by automate rule and will be used by uh, bid gambler. So whatever you put on max bid, uh, never automate. So uh, bid adjustment hotel campaign on the fly, nor uh, bid gambler, which is uh, rising the bid, chasing a click, will never go above what, whatever setting, whatever dollar amount or euro amount or pound amount you put into the max bid field. Um, this is also covered. And the next uh, and last uh, update um, that I want to present you is also a very big one uh, and it goes back to Keyword Recycler. We used to have a delay of up to nine days before we test a lower bid on a keyword, we remove the delay. So right now Keyword Guardian we're going to keep doing its job of posing any keyword that moves above your echo threshold. But as soon as that keyword gets paused, Keyword Recycler will kick in straight away in order not to make you lose sales, not to make you lose too much visibility. So um, a keyword move above your echo threshold and right away Keyword Recycler will kick in and take that keyword with an adjusted lower bid and test it in a parallel test art group. Uh, in this way, you will shorten up the testing time you will not have to wait nine days before recreating and driving the traffic that the post keyword used to do, but you can keep the traffic going straight away, knowing that we will keep your echoes under control. Um, for today, these are the, all the, um, the updates that I have to present you. We are working on some more, uh, like advanced searching, um, advanced searches at any level. Um, but I will show you as soon as that live, I'm going to publish another video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for using some tools. Bye bye.